Rahman Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you, and welcome to His Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday mentioning and talking about some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right by his grandfather, the Messenger of Allah, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, still we are talking about the prediction of Imam Hussein's martyrdom and the events that happened and were predictable even before his birth. Our respected viewers, before we continue in our story of Al Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam regarding the events leading up to his martyrdom, one more fact must be pointed out, namely, just as the Messenger of Allah knew even before the Imam's birth that he would be martyred in Karbala, that he until this very day awaits justice for Hussein alayhi salam. Don't think that this means only from those who were present there on the battlefield. Rather, justice and a reckoning awaits the entire Islamic community from the first to the last, including the present day so far. The martyrdom of Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam is one of the scales of Allah's justice on earth. Thus, the nation that knew from the Prophet's lifetime that the Imam would be martyred but abandoned him nonetheless will be judged accordingly so far. The nation that heard of the news following his martyrdom and did not feel the stench of injustice in their hearts will be judged accordingly so far as well. The nation who continues until now to suppress and deny the truth of circumstances surrounding his martyrdom and to defend his murderers will be judged accordingly so far. None other than the Holy Prophet of Islam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, and upon his pure family himself awaits these deniers and enemies of the religion to see justice done for his beloved grandson, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. Thus, our respected viewers, one of Al Imam Sadiq's companions narrates I was sitting with Abu Abdullah Ja'far bin Muhammad in Sadiq when a very old man came to him. He was so old that his back was bent. The old man said, Peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you, O Abu Abdullah, returned his greeting and asked him to come forward. The old man obliged, and as he kissed the blessed hand of the Imam alayhi salam, he began to weep. Why are you crying? Abu Abdullah al said. He replied, O son of the Messenger of Allah, I have been waiting to see you people of the house for almost 100 years. I keep telling myself that this is the year, this is the month, or this is the day I will see you. But now that I have finally seen you, do not blame me for crying. At this Abu Abdullah himself began to weep so far and said, you will be with us regardless of when you die on judgment day. You will be with the weight that the Messenger of Allah left behind. The old man replied, Then after today, I will not be grieved about what I missed in the past so far. Abu Abdullah then said, My respected elder, the Messenger of Allah والسلام, said, I am leaving behind me two weighty things. If you hold on to them, you will never go astray. They are the revealed book of Allah, in a reference to the holy book Al-Quran, and my family, the family of the Prophet of Islam. O respected elder, on judgment day, you will be with us, the family of the Prophet. Then Abu Abdullah said, I don't think you are from Kufa. The old man replied, no, I am not. Then where are you from? Asked Abu Abdullah. May I be your ransom, said the old man. I am from the area outside of Kufa. How far are you from the grave of my oppressed grandfather Hussein? He asked. I am close to it. 
replied the old man, how frequently do you visit him? He asked, very frequently, replied the man. Then Abu Abdullah, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, said, O oh, respected elder, Allah wants to avenge the blood of Al Hussein bin Ali. None of the sons of Fatima have seen a tragedy like the tragedy of Al Hussein, and none will ever see a tragedy like it so far in the history of humanity. Al Hussein and 17 of his family members who patiently strove in the way of Allah the Almighty were killed and Allah has rewarded him with the best reward for the patient ones. On Judgment Day, the Messenger of Allah will come forward with Al Hussein. Hussein will be holding his hand over his head which will be dripping with his blood. The Messenger of Allah will say, O oh Allah, ask my nation why they killed my son Hussein innocently. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were murdered and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Until we meet again with the new episodes, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of the grandfather Al Hussein bin Ali, who says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.